Okay, um, today is January 18th, 2017. Um, my mother is pretty much going to die. Um, she's 70 something. Um, and I'm going to go to West Virginia and visit her pretty soon. Um, <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to read a poem, and I never write poems, and it's not a real poem, it's more like a kind of stream of thought, structureless poem that doesn't rhyme. Um, before I read it, I'll explain something. Um, there are two words that are made-up words. The word Anaya, to make a long story short, is my god. I have a different religion. And the word Nokrovich, it started off as kind of a joke, and then I started actually using the word. It basically refers to evil, and everything evil that exists in the world. So, I'm going to try to read this poem. And I'm not claiming that it's a good poem. <laughs> It's just what I wrote. Um, and I experience uh, voices in my head and electronic attacks. Um, I'm not going to explain all that in this video, but that comes into this poem. That's what I'm talking about when I say that I'm a slave and I can't think or feel or understand anything. That's the reason why. So. This is the poem. I actually don't know what the title is. It's going to sound pathetic as soon as I start reading. <clears throat> the death of my mother, it happens to us all, unless we die before they do. I'm a slave and I cannot speak. The events of my life were brought together exactly like this, in this way, at this time. Terrible events, one after another. The controllers decided my fate and the fate of my mother and disabled me completely at exactly the moment when she needed my help. I know this is depressing. I'm really sorry. I wouldn't even want to listen to this horrible poem if it, if it wasn't me. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> okay. She was taken from me perhaps three decades too early, a lifetime yet to live. It is not God who scheduled these events, these circumstances to coincide and occur one after another. I am tied down and forced to helplessly observe as things happen, as every hour, every minute, every second goes by, taking my mother away. My soul is not dead. Those soul murderers stifle me every second of my life. When my mother is gone, I will not understand what it means to me. It means she never saw my children, her grandchildren, the one thing I hoped to show to her. There is something in between showing and not showing that they do not want me to understand. She is dead and not alive, and I do not show her 
but somehow to feel that it is done and just as good as if I had shown her. But to reconcile this with mortal life and her not knowing. Traditions sing and dance and talk to the elders, to the ancestors. And are they silent, as silent as God? In a free world, I can make peace with my memories. I can untangle the thoughts and feelings. I can express them, understand them, see them differently. But in this world of absolute evil, the Nakrovich wants to use my mom as a tool to enslave me, to control me with my feelings, to never let me be at peace with her or to understand or see her differently. The Nakrovich only knows that this is an opportunity to cause more pain and influence my decisions. They give me the shallowest understanding Something stupid that does not work. Something unsatisfying that requires a strain, like imagining food when you are hungry. No matter how long you imagine it, the hunger only grows. You wish it were this, but it is not and never will be. Such a shallow understanding is the substitute for my soul that I am forced to live on every day. A mindless robot moving my body through the world. It's like watching TV in my brain, <clears throat> never being inside the picture. I had said that the soul murderers and Nakrovich did not kill me. They also did not kill all of the future. Anaya knows my soul, and if Anaya cannot appear but in tiny fragments and tiny currents of forces, currents that flow together over time, even if these currents take a long time, even if their flood is stamped out over and over again, even so, time is longer than Nakrovich. And Anaya is life and love, and Nakrovich is death and hate, even for its own people, its own slaves. Nakrovich is poison to itself. Or as they say, too much evil destroys evil. Have we not seen Nakrovich before? Was it not already past and gone? And then perhaps we had a breath of air before it came again. Oh my gosh, this is long. <laughs> my mother was killed by Nakrovich, though she did not know it as I do. I will try to go to her. While she still has breath of life, though I am sick, I am weary, weary with slavery and loneliness, for no one speaks the language I speak, the language of Anaya and life. Though they may live, their lives are hidden from my sight, from my touch, from my heart, and I see the zombies on the streets, thousands of them in another universe from me. I am weary, and I move through these crowds, as if I am alone in the desert, as their ugly faces, their ugly bodies, their vapid conversations pass by me. Every moment I am poisoned by loathing. My mother, a tiny connection with love, with humanity, with trust. Though a fellow slave, I knew she had a soul, a slave raising a slave. Though I do not remember, I know I was loved. I will go to her, though I do not understand will go, though I cannot walk. Through the burning zaps that strike my neck and shoulders like lightning everywhere I go, I pray though Anaya cannot hear me, and Anaya cannot answer. Anaya, if you are here, if your forces exist, you are both good and powerful, and maybe you don't know me, and maybe all of your forces are not in the same place at the same time, and maybe I don't recognize you even though you are there, bringing life to the world and fighting Nakrovich for me, for my mom, for my people, for my fellow slaves. My mom doesn't know Anaya and she doesn't know Nakrovich, but through your voice tailored to her and all of those like her, let her know you, 
Let her see your beauty, your life, your hope. Let her know you. Let her hear your song. Customized to her ears in exactly the way she will understand. Let her soul breathe with you. For though I cannot sing that song and I cannot explain it to her, let her see it and hear it in exactly the right way so that she remembers life and so she knows the currents of hope are still running. Well, that went over 10 minutes. So I tried to hurry a little bit, but that's it. <laughs>